Hello everyone and welcome back to the highly anticipated second episode of Kiss My Ace. I am your host, Wyatt Metzger. I'd first like to thank everyone who took the time to comment on the last video. I'm really happy and honestly surprised to have real fans, real people who are totally not 100% definitely bots. So I appreciate your guys' support. Thank you so much. That's what keeps me going every single week. Now we're going to start today's episode off with world superstar Serena Williams. Serena made headline news when she had the quote saying that this whole year deserves an asterisk due to the fact that there are no fans watching tennis and um, everything's a little weird. And Serena, um, I would like to preface this by saying you are a hero and an inspiration to all of us. I mean this with the utmost respect towards you as a human being. But um, no sh We are in the midst of a global pandemic the world literally has never seen anything like this. The entire country shut down for a long period of time. Schools across the country are moving online and the only sports we see are in bubbles. So yeah, at the bare minimum, I would say there's an asterisk at the end of 2020. Just a wild guess. Wild guess. Going out on a limb here. Um, yeah, and speaking of things that suck, uh, love is now trending in the tennis world because there's officially a script for the Eugenie Bouchard movie thing. So in case you guys forgot, way back in 2017, a simpler time, Eugenie Bouchard, during the Super Bowl, tweeted that she was confident that the Falcons would win after taking a 28-3 lead over the New England Patriots. And then one ambitious Patriots fan, who I will not name out of severe jealousness on my part, tweeted back at her and said, if the Patriots come back and win, can I take you on a date? And I think we all know what happened there. He's in! Patriots win the Super Bowl! So that whole scenario will soon be hitting the big screen because Miss Bouchard recently announced that a script has now been set and written about this whole scenario and about Twitter? I don't know. And despite the fact that none of the film has actually been filmed yet, we have received exclusive access to the first ever trailer of Tweet Drunk Love. Enjoy. thank the producers of Tweet Drunk Love for giving us this exclusive access. We can't thank you enough. Remember, you saw it here first on Kiss My Ace. This film will be coming to you soon in theaters. Um, actually, probably not. Dang. Corona sucks. It's time to move on to tennis social media. The ATP Tour Twitter feed, in an attempt to stay relevant, has um, made some interesting choices. <laughs> I have so many questions about this video because I need to know who made these editing choices. First of all, the music. Incredible. It sounds like a romantic drama. This is beautiful. It's John Isner working out. Second of all, the length. It's a minute long. It's a minute long montage of John Isner working out. Who, who asked for this? Who needs this? And last but not least, we're going to move over to... Um, a superstar in our tennis world, Rafael Nadal, and he's just doing what Rafa does, proving that he is not a human being. Take a look. I'm now sending it over to our favorite guest star, Mac Enro, for a breakdown of this fascinating clip. Hey everyone, it's me, Mac Enro, your favorite co-host. I appreciate the warm welcome last week. Today I will be attempting to pick up this tennis ball in the same exact manner that Rafael Nadal did. My hero, my savior, my legend. Love you, bud. Oh, 
Okay, conclusions. Number one, Rafa is immortal. Number two, I'm out of shape. Number three, back to you, Wyatt. Thank you, Mac, for that valiant effort. We appreciate you, as always, and good luck over in New York for the U.S. Open. That about wraps up our show for the week. Make sure to leave a comment. You know, let us know what we should put Mac up to next. You know, he's getting bored out there in New York. He just wants to see some tennis, but they have him cooped up in his hotel. So give us some ideas. And last but not least, remember, if you don't agree with anything I say here on this show, well, you can kiss my ace. Have a good night, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.